Hello my friends, my name is Russell Wright from NetworkEmpire.com and today I'd like to introduce the concept of Cora Inception. Hollywood's definition of Inception, for those of you who saw the movie probably remember this. If you can steal an idea from someone's mind, why can't you plant one there instead? Well, Network Empire's definition of Inception. For our FAQ Empire students, it's leading people to your ideas, products, and services by answering their frequently asked questions and planting the seed of much better what we call should ask questions. I have to really admit that the FAQ SAQ Inception, the original Inception, is from Mike Koenig of Traffic Geyser. It was his 10 by 10 by 4 matrix that turned me on to this idea. We enhanced this method and turned it into our ISDNA module, which is the basis for the entire stackable perpetual lead magnet machine system that we use all of our other applications, Kraken, TLKT, to enhance. Thanks, Mike. In this presentation, you will learn how to use Core to create viral traffic, social trust, expert influence, SEO page rank, customers for life, all accomplished through indirect selling or inception. So an inception again is an FAQ, a frequently asked question in your industry. And the inception occurs when you answer the question by dealing with a pain. We call this a painkiller. We're always telling our students to distinguish the difference between a painkiller and a vitamin when it comes to their product and services. Then that gets transformed through subtle inception through a to a should ask question. And that's where the product and service exchange happens indirectly. There's no hard selling, no pushing, just expert consulting every step of the way. So step one of the core inception process is to prepare keywords for core questions. Make sure the core questions contain your keyword or your KDNA. Now the keyword DNA is fancy schmancy terminology because we've created a pretty advanced enterprise platform keyword and theme clustering technology that extracts thousands of money keywords in the marketplace across tens of thousands of web pages and tells you what the most important ones are for the conversation, but maybe that's a topic for another day. You can use free keyword research tools to do this without using our fancy tools. And you know, Google has a free tool which is just fine for you to use or advanced users, again, you can use our Kraken or our TLKT keyword technology like hundreds of our elite students around the world are doing. These are not keyword research tools, they're vertical online market analysis tools. Now, the second step of Quora Inception is to extract the Quora questions from the Quora social media platform. If you don't know what Quora is, we're going to go ahead and show you more about it in our course, but do go ahead and go to Quora.com and learn more about this amazing social media platform created by some students of Facebook and some, uh, some of the major uh, developers of Facebook that decided to go their own way and create the Quora application. Option one is to sort through Quora by hand using your keyword phrase in the Quora search window. Okay, and this is what a Quora search window looks like. Go and play around with it you know, yourself. The idea of extracting all of these by hand is ouch. Option two is to use the Network Empire Quora Extractor software to extract Quora questions in bulk. And that's the tool that we developed to help you in your ISDNA process. Quora Extractor pulls all relevant questions containing your keywords into a bulk spreadsheet on your desktop. Quora Extractor also extracts vertical themes and topics because Quora deals with topical themes. It also pulls dominant and prolific authors who answer questions in these topics. It pulls related questions around your topic or theme. And it also pulls out opportunities, that is, where no questions may yet exist around your theme or keyword. We get into that later, and that's called inception. That's the opportunity for inception on Quora. So, Quora inception. Creating, answering your own questions. This is step one. It is completely within the core terms of service to create and answer your own Quora questions. Here's the actual insert from this question that's been asked and many people have been looking at it on Quora, of course. FAQ Inception. Official Quora Answer Wiki about this says, if you know the correct answer to a question, you should post it, whether or not you are the original poster of the question. This is true whether you know the answer from the start 
the time you post the question or learn it later. And this is, brings up a good point. I come back and edit and add and enhance questions over time, especially questions that have made me money indirectly and traffic. We get into this more later. Along the same lines, users are encouraged to one, add questions that they know the answer to and two, answer the questions immediately. The exception to this rule is it's not considered good core etiquette if the question is directed directly towards your product, brand, service, or company. That would not be inception, would it? Or indirect selling anyways. Inception is indirect influence. In other words, no direct selling on Quora. Oh, by the way, did I mention no direct selling on Quora? So here's a reminder. What is the network empire definition of inception? Leading people to your ideas, products, and services by answering their frequently asked questions and planting the seed of much better should ask questions or SAQs from FAQ to SAQ. So core inception number two, answer other people's questions. Don't just create your own. Answer a question if it contains your money keyword, answer the questions that have had the most number of views, answer the questions with expert opinions that are interesting but incomplete. We call that IBI. These get more vote ups. And in the course at Network Empire, we talk about what vote ups actually are. Vote ups are powerful because they allow you to rank higher on the answer for a question than anyone else who may have fewer vote ups than you. Answer questions that have page rank. Yep, Quora passes page rank and gives page rank. And perhaps most important, and this is my favorite, answer questions with better eye candy. More on this in a moment. Let's go through these one by one quickly. Answer a question if it contains your money keywords. Example, we have an online course about content curation. It's a course that's gotten quite popular from the Warriors Forum and with my own students called Premium Content Curation. This product or members area is positioned to answer should ask questions about frequently asked content curation questions, a new and emerging market, right? Content curation is therefore a money keyword along with other long tails around the word curation. So what I will do is I'll answer questions about content curation in Quora with answers that are compelling, but counter with a better question if possible. So for example, related Quora question. This is an example of what might occur on Quora. This is not a real question. How do I install widget X on my website or blog? It could be any widget, any kind of help that is being asked for on Quora. My possible inception answer could be one of many, but here's an example. Well, in our testing, widget X can be installed in the following two ways. Here's a third party link that says how, and I never link directly to anyone else's link. And you learn this in my premium content curation course, how to do what we call premium content curation, but you can always link to a useful article of someone else on Google plus, and you can insert your Google plus link with that link inside your Quora question. If you want, not the end of the world, if you link to a real URL, but that's up to you. And this is an advanced move. So, those of you who need to learn more about that, you can take my G plus course and the premium content curation course. Although the advice, I might continue this uh, answer on Quora by saying, although the advice was good, we ran into an error. error. Here is a complete article on our own blog that covers installation with more depth and corrects that error and a link to your own blog. Yep, you can put links to your own blog. Also, here is a video from YouTube, of course, where we show you how to install it. Insert YouTube eye candy. Quora automatically turns, uh, folks, Quora automatically turns YouTube uh, links into a uh, eye candy URL. And we're going to show you some of these demos in a second. Then I might say Russell Wright. And then I might end with my Google Plus About Me link because I can get some inbound link juice to my Google Plus About Us page. And Google cares about that. So answer a question if it contains your money keywords. Okay, that's another uh, thing that we're talking about recently. And here's a shot of inside Quora. You can tell that the money keyword, remember we were talking about content curation. Okay, scoop it is a topic around content curation, digital content curation. You can see several questions that I've answered in the realm of content curation beyond news and curation. And you're gonna find other words as well. Content curation appears here. You can see this is a topical theme. All right, around content curation. Answer the question that have the most number of views. That's the next one. Many people forget, you guys and gals, how to, they forget to look how many times a question has been viewed. 
When you have a lot of possible questions to answer, number of views is a super easy way to decide which question to answer first. This is why we use Core Extractor to extract a lot of them. Okay, you can see that this question has been viewed 3,164 times. Holy smokes. What are the best kept secrets of successful business people? Okay, fascinatingly, I've looked at this post. It gets a lot of traffic. It's worth a lot of money. And there's not a single person who have inserted, single person yet as of the date of this video that I'm making here that has inserted any kind of eye candy into this question. That's just plain silly. I know most of you are going to run off and create answers for this now. Please don't uh, spam this question. Put real answers with real opinions and real insight from your own business experience if you do answer this question. And folks, there's open hunting in this. There are thousands of questions like this. Also, answer the question with expert opinions that are interesting but incomplete. IBI is a term that I invented for my students of my article marketing and uh, curation courses that explains how not to give away your whole goose when you're providing content. It has to do with membership site-based content and premium content. People spend way too much time on core with very little strategy. It's like the Facebook for geeks. With zero strategy, they do not know where to draw the line with the information that they give away and when to stop. Keep your answers interesting but incomplete. For more information on this, go ahead and visit interestingbutincomplete.com and you can see an overview of the chart that you have here on the screen. Also, do consider joining up networkempire.com and learning our stackable system where module three and four cover this very, very well. Use a link to drive visitors to your non-sales page website on more information in one of your core questions in order to get more information. Don't make it a squeeze page or a sales page though, folks. Advanced users, you may also add a reference link to create stronger cases, including Wikipedia or your own company's wiki. For example, I get huge amount of SEO clout and traffic from my own Wikipedia style wiki called themezoomglossary.com. I use the exact same technology that Wikipedia uses called MediaWiki to get those inbound links. It gets me lots and lots of traffic. And when I stick it in a link inside Quora, it makes my framing or the uh, context of my question look very professional and expert. Answer questions that have page rank. Yeah, Cora collects and passes page ranks, as well as passing extremely high quality traffic for indirect sales. For example, the question that we just looked at on the previous screen at a page rank of three, what are the best kept secrets of successful business people? You know, that question that all of you are going to you know, stampede and run over and start answering. You know, hey, if you want to answer a question for the first time, this is a pretty good uh, question to answer. You know, go ahead and get familiar with Quora. Look this question up, just type it into the search bar and look at it and answer it if you feel moved. And perhaps the most important, answering questions with better eye candy. Drum roll, ladies and gentlemen. I have found the following to be the most important tip you will receive from this course. And please don't spread the secret around, okay? You should insert eye candy inside each question you decide to answer. If it is worth answering, folks, it is worth adding some eye candy. Now, what do I mean, inserting eye candy? The eye, inserting eye candy benefits are eye candy makes people look at your answer first. Eye candy gives you answer more, your answer more credibility. Eye candy increases the time people spend on your answer. Eye candy increases the likelihood that people will follow links away from Quora onto your website. Okay, select eye candy that is engaging, including YouTube videos. You can see on this little snippet example that I've inserted a YouTube video, which is me uh, on a small window with a screen capture software uh, talking about the information diet, which is a book by an author who I like. And they actually had a question about this. I answered the question. I'm the only one with a video inserted into this question. Okay, and that's definitely considered eye candy. I was already doing it for a blog post anyway, so it was really useful and easy to move over into Quora. Charts and graphs is another kind of eye candy. Here's a question that I answered with a chart from Network Empire. What tools are best to plan and produce web content? Here's the question. See that? You can see right here that I had to upload this image using the uploader in Quora. You do have to use a PNG and upload it directly. You can't necessarily insert a link. Sometimes the insert links actually bring up the image thumb, but this is eye candy. Okay, and that's very, very powerful. This is an image, not a video, but that also works. 
Okay, let's move on to the next one here. Infographics are another way to insert. Just make sure that you're in using the actual image and that the thumb actually appears inside the Quora question. Here's an infographic for Inception that I thought was pretty cool. Even plain vanilla links are still eye candy when no other answers have links. It's so amazing. Sometimes I'll see a conversation happening on Quora and nobody's inserting a link to complete information and nobody's in a bibliography state of mind. By, big, by bibliography state of mind, it means nobody's quoting their sources or citing their references or even pointing to a, a decent representation of a professional or expert answer. No other answers present, so there's no competition. Even if you didn't have eye candy, that is a video or infographic or an image in here, you might be the only one with the only links. And sometimes they're the only answer to your question. Again, most people don't bother to place a reference, to name their sources, to stay in the bibliography state of mind, to insert videos, to insert infographics, to insert links. This means it is open seizing on the young Quora platform. And we have given you the tools to cash in. Quora Extractor, shameless plug. But this is all a part of a larger stackable business system called Perpetual Lead Magnet Machine. Corabot comes with every monthly membership of our main NetworkEmpire.com membership area. So if you're already a Network Empire member, I can already heal the, hear the help desk filling up with questions. Where do I get Corabot? Where do I get Corabot? Just log in and you're already going to have it. Look on your sidebar under Cora Empire and just click the link and you'll see the quick start manual and the downloadable executable for the Cora Extractor, which will download into your desktop. Warriors, if you are getting this from a forum, WSO, um, Quora Extractor, and you purchase it from the Warriors Forum WSO, you will have access only to the Quora Extractor software and the course, not to the other membership courses inside NetworkEmpire.com. You know, so we get asked that a lot, so we hope that helps you. Uh, if you are interested in upgrading, of course, to the higher membership value processes, then, you know, go ahead and take a look at the, the items that we have to offer, and you decide that for yourself. I wanted to make this software available to Warriors because I feel like a lot of the Warriors do need some experience in indirect selling, and that a lot of direct selling technologies are in the Warriors Forum, but very few people understand how to integrate a consultative service and expert advice and build a personal branding and expert empire. People ask me all the time, can you use uh, Quora Extractor and can you use uh, Quora uh, to affiliate market? And the answer is yes, but you still have to follow the same rules. No spamming, no direct selling, and create indirect sales through still offering expert advice. Even if it's not your, your advice, you can still connect questions with answers in a way that's innovative and creative. Okay, so again, Warriors, WSO, Quora software, and courses only if you purchased it through your WSO. So let the Quora inception begin. Start your sustainable, long-term FAQ, SAQ empire today. FAQ empire. Special thanks from the Network Empire team. That's Sue, Kelly, Matt, and myself. Questions are the answer. Ask the right ones. We hope to see you on the inside.